Hey guys, Chris Fix here. Today I'm going to show you a cutaway of a ball joint. I've always wondered what the inside of a ball joint actually looks like. I have an idea of what it's supposed to look like, but it'd be interesting to see how these stock forward ball joints look. Okay, let's see what's inside this ball joint. So you saw my other videos on how to change the ball joint. I changed them because they're all gritty and you could see all that rust and grit right in there. Here's the plastic bushing. You can see there's slices in them. It goes all the way around. And here's the actual ball joint. This ball joint was hollow, which is interesting. I didn't think they would make a hollow one. You would think that they would fill it to make it solid. And I kind of cut in a little bit here, but it fits right in just like that. And you can see the upwards and downwards motion is just wear in the bushing. The plastic in the bushing actually doesn't seem too bad, except down here, all that grit and stuff. And there's not much grease in here. There should be grease. It's pre-greased from the factory. It's not greasable. There's no grease point or anything. You can see these two pieces fit together like that. This is what gets pressed into your control arm. You can see at the bottom here, they kind of put a, uh, it's almost like a metal washer that goes in here against the plastic bushing. And this ring at the bottom here is what prevents the ball joint from falling out while you're driving. It goes all the way around. It's one solid ring. And if your ball joint gets so worn out that it could slip through this, or if this breaks, then your ball joint could easily just pop right out. Yeah, so, I mean, you can see the plastic is really thick over here and then it gets really thin at the top. There's a lot of wear at the top, so that's probably what's causing the upwards and downwards motion. And that's the back of the housing. Well, hopefully you enjoyed looking at the inside of a ball joint and the cutaway of it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Also, consider subscribing. I publish how-to videos weekly and I answer all the questions and comments you guys leave in the description below. On the screen are going to be a couple of videos popping up. You could click those videos on the screen or you could find the links to those videos in the description below. Also in the description are the links to my Facebook and Twitter pages. If you use Facebook or Twitter, go check it out.